All right, what is going on, everybody? Today we got some deadlifts. Okay, we got some deadlifts, and we got some three count bench. Um, it's obviously my first single of the block, like I was talking about yesterday. Uh, for deads, so it's really, really light. Like it's supposed to be RP five, but it's only a ten kilo jump for my squat yesterday. So, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be closer. Okay. Hello? Nice. I have a feeling it's going to be closer to, like, um, I have a feeling it's going to be closer to, like, RP2 or 3, like my squat was. Because my squat moved at literally, like, a, a 1 or a 2. Like, I could have done that forever. Um, so, and my deads are honestly a lot stronger than my squats. So I'm surprised they're so close together, but my coach was like, it's just fatigue, and you got to understand the buildup, and this doesn't really matter. It's just the end of the block that matters, so I agree. Um, so the pole should be really, really good today, and I have two back offsets, and then a three-count bench, which I'm going to probably do 97.5 kilos, hopefully. Um, I could do 100, but I don't know. I think it's RP7. So if I want to match my actual bench, I'd be doing I'd be doing more. If I did a hundred, I'd be doing like well, we'll see we'll see how it moves. Um, I'm not going to commit to a number yet. I'm either doing a hundred or ninety-seven and a half kilo. So that should be a good three count pause, and then it's just a bunch of back work. Um, yeah, it's chill from there. So fun day today. Uh, I'm still sick. If you guys couldn't tell, obviously I didn't think it was going to heal overnight, uh, but. I, I took a day quill, so hopefully I'm okay. My head doesn't hurt that bad. I just couldn't really breathe for most of the day um, yesterday. But not that bad right now. I'll be okay. Um, almost couldn't find my microphone this morning, so that was really annoying. My clip to my microphone like comes off, and it just gets lost randomly. It was in like the thing in my car. I was like praying it was in here because I could not find it otherwise. And the belt... You guys saw me get yesterday, uh, Inzer belt, so hopefully it's good on deads today, we'll see. It also doesn't fit in my bag, so I have to carry it around separately, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Yeah, I'm excited, this should be a good uh, a good day. I need, I really need today to be good, like deadlift-wise, just because the last two sessions in a row uh, of primary deadlifts, Last session I was in the rec center when I talked about, and I failed my second rep, got my first at like an eight. And the week before that is when I couldn't even like pull my warm up, um, and I was supposed to set a PR. So although today is light, as long as it flies like it's supposed to, I'll be happy. Um, and the back downs, as long as my form stays good and everything flies, I'll be happy. So like my pause dead session was good, the one that I recorded last time, but that pause dead, it's different. So, I think those were low-key heavy. I think those are actually heavier than what I'm doing today, which is kind of funny. Uh, I gotta look, but I'm pretty sure they're either heavier or it's like the exact same that I did for four, but I have it a single today. <coughs> That's how undershot uh, my numbers are right now. So, it should be a pretty chill day. Uh, I don't feel amazing right now, so I'm hoping the medicine kind of kicks in. Once the caffeine kicks in, the medicine kicks in, and like my adrenaline kicks in, I'm like fine, like yesterday. I felt like this when I was going, and then I started squatting, and I felt fine by my top set. So hopefully it's the exact same today, and uh, hopefully we get a good pump today. Some back work, wearing an actual stringer today, the Gymshark fit. We got all Gymshark on today. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, it's been good. I, on the, you know, I want to talk about low-key. I'm losing weight. I don't know why. It's kind of pissing me off. Um, I'm using an app that, like, you know, calculates my calories and all that, like, based on my weight. And I use an algorithm, and it's smart, and it works really well. Um, so, like, it keeps adding calories to me per week. But for whatever reason, this week, while I've been sick, I've been eating the same amount that I always have. Obviously, I'm not moving more. I'm moving way less. And I'm, like, dropping weight. Like, I'm once, oh, no, like, 175 this morning. It's in the title. But, like, I was, like... I'm at an average weight of like 176.6 or something over the last like two weeks. And now I'm like 175 for the last like three, four days. So I don't know if it's because I'm like sick and my body's just like fighting off whatever this is. So it's burning more calories, even though it sounds stupid. It might actually be a thing because 
I'm so sensitive to the amount of calories I'm eating right now that anything I do is going to affect how much I'm getting or losing. Um, so that literally might just be it, but it's not actually a bad thing at all because I'm sitting at like 175 right now. Um, and I feel good and I'm just as strong as I've ever been. And that means I just like, that means I can pretty much eat normal leading up to my comp and just weigh in at one. Like I don't even have to weigh when the lower I weigh, the better, honestly, for dots. So no negatives at all to not actually gaining weight as long as I'm eating as much as I am and I'm staying lean. So I, I can't really complain. It's just weird to me because I would think as I'm sick, I'm like walking less, you know, I'm doing shit around the house like less or whatever. Like I assume I'm laying down more, which I am. So I assume I'd be gaining weight faster, not losing weight when I'm eating the same amount of calories, which is really interesting to me. Um, never really noticed that before. So it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use liquid chalk as well as normal chalk today and see if that helps my grip on the TSS bar because I never actually talked about this on the channel, so I can do that right now. Um, the TSS bar, um, the Texas Strength Systems bar is TSS, uh, is the bar that they use in the comp at our gym. So to nobody in the gym, it makes zero sense. Okay, Nobody in the gym understands why. Because we have Alico competition plates, and all the bars that I've been using in every single video that has the red sticker on it is an Alico bar. So why we would not use an Alico bar with Alico plates makes no sense to me. But since USAPL just signed a sponsorship or whatever with TSS, we have to use a Texas Strength bar, the TSS bar. So that bar is terrible. Everybody hates that bar because it's slicker. The knurling is like sharper and it's like a smoother bar. So it like slides, like for deadlifts, like my friends and like a bunch of kids that were like competing, just drop it. Like they had the strength and he dropped it. Like my friend's the craziest story I've ever heard, honestly. He went six for six up to deads. He opened his dead up, went to hook it, pulled it up like halfway through his like shin and dropped it. And he came back and said, he cut my nail. Cut his nail, hold it on the Alico bar in the warm-up room, that's what we were doing in the warm-up room, at like an RP4. Went out again, tried to pull a 205 kilo, so he jumped 10 kilos. Again, had the strength, got to like halfway up his like his his quad, and dropped it, and it just rolled out of his hand. We were like, "What the hell?" And then he did it again and dropped it again. He went 0 for 3 on deads just because of how bad the bar was, and he wasn't used to it. So that's why I've been practicing on that bar for the last like few videos, just because now that I know that we're using that bar, I want to get used to it. So. Uh, hopefully I can get on it today because I think Bornstein's here and whenever Bornstein's here, he uses the bar too because obviously he competes in USAPL. Uh, he wants to practice the bar as well. So I'm doing dead, so I'm hopefully going to have time to just wait for the bar because it's Saturday and everybody's always here at this time. It's always packed, so I'm going to have to wait anyway. I might as well just wait for the bar I want. Um, so I'm going to hopefully go TSS bar. And uh, hopefully it doesn't affect my polls. Last time it didn't at all, but it was really light. Honestly, for squats, I like it, which everybody's like, you're a psycho. Like, I've said to, like, my coach, he's like, bro, you're a weird. I'm like, yeah, I know. Because the knurling's really sharp on squats. So I think it just digs into my shirt better. Um, and I felt like I was more secure. Uh, and on bench, it's so sharp, it gives you a callus in the middle of your hand. But now that I've already kind of formed that callus or bench with it, like, three times, I like it because it feels more secure in my palm. The only thing I don't like it for is dead. Nobody likes it for deads. But for bench and squat, at least, I'm used to it already. And I like it. Um, like yesterday I used the Aligo and it felt a little weird and I like the TSS feeling because it's like it's sharper in your hand even though it sounds weird it's like painful but it's like a good pain um, that sounds weird but I don't know I fucked the TSS bar a little bit low key I just gotta use it for deads so I'm gonna keep using it for deads and that cannot be my excuse in comp is that the grip sucks the bar sucks whatever not my excuse because I've been practicing on it the whole time I mean I only have one of them in the gym that's the biggest issue honestly we have like 10 Aligo bars we have one TSS bar so getting that one TSS bar is kind of hard to practice with um, and to wait for, especially when you have kids that are like Bornstein who are miles ahead of you that actually need it and it actually affects them a lot more. So I'm not going to like take the bar from him. And I asked him, but he's like, obviously not, like he's doing it. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get it today. But uh, I'm going to drink the pre. Hopefully this shit kicks in and I can stop feeling like dog shit. And I'll see you guys in the gym. That's the problem. All right, that's all up.
Alright, we have to build high as shit. This is the top set. <laughs> so we don't need to but. Alright, pull the shit up. I've been talking for a minute. I gotta pull this. I got three by four. This is super light. My bar is so uneven. It's whatever. I have two more. These are literally air, so I'm just talking in between, but... Alright, last set. My dad's feels so good. Bench. Hopefully this bench moves. Last warm up. Dead's Dead's flew. New dead form is flying. Wearing, wearing the Inzer belt higher. Felt really good. Three count pause. Give me command. Yeah. Yeah. Command. Command. Three count pause. All right, um, he gave me like the longest pause of all time just now. Um, so we're gonna cut the pause a little bit and I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're good. Um, I like can't set up right now, it feels really weird, so I don't know why, but I'm not gonna question it. Oh no, is that right now? I like can't dig my back in and like get my feet set up the best way possible. So I'm probably this probably gonna move a little harder than it should. Um and I kind of feel like shit right now if you couldn't tell my eye is tweaking. Um but it's alright. Alright, I just gotta wait for him to be done and then we can back. Up. So I'll cut to me setting up. Three, yeah. two, all right, one. all right, sir. Yeah. 
start. Press. Rush. PR. PR, baby. Okay, Loki forgot I was filming a YouTube video. Um, I didn't film my last set, but I have three more sets of this. Uh, yeah, my eye is fucked. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I low key probably have like a guy or something. So uh, pushing is kind of hard. Um, the fact that I just got a PR on pause bench while I feel like this is absolutely crazy. So I'm just going to grind out the rest of the workout and hopefully I don't like, die. Um, three more sets of eight here. We'll see how it goes. First set was hard, so I'm dropping 10 pounds because I like low key cheated at the end of the first set. Um, and there's no point to cheat, especially because it's not RP 10, it's RP like 8. So let's get it. Yeah, the built-up pressure hurts my eye, so I'm not going to up the weight. Um, two more. All right, two more. Not going to lie, I really don't feel great, so I wonder if I'm going to end up cutting this short, but I'd like not to. This day is the one day that I keep fucking cutting short. I don't want to cut it short because I get off tomorrow, so let's grind this shit out and fucking deal with it. Like dog, bro. Come on. All right, that's it. My eyes fucking tweaking right now. On to Rose. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel great, but we're gonna fucking finish the workout real quick. So we have four sets of ten. Let's go. Two more. Boom. Two more.
One more. Last set. Hold on, I'm trying to dip. Let's get this shit done. I don't know if I counted right, but I think I counted 10. I don't know. I'm like tripping. Uh, light curl. Alright, I got three sets of 10 on here. Um, this will be a, like a 10 pound PR, so let's see how, how it goes. I actually feel this one in my hamstrings. The other machine, I don't at all. So that's why I started doing this one. It feels good. Hard as shit, but it feels good in the hamstring. Two more sets of that. Feels good. All right. I actually love this machine. So, two more sets. I love this machine. It actually works so well. One more. That's so good. Alright. Had a nice long talk with my boy, but let's go. We got this in preachers. All right, preachers. All right, four sets of 10, 65 hopefully. All right, see ya. Oh. 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 
Mucho más negro. All right. Three more. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hard, man. Two more. It's fucking hard. Because I feel like dog and I lost my phone. But I'm just grind this shit out. All right, somehow that was actually a pretty good session. Um, I think that was like pretty much a PR on almost every single uh, accessory. Um, T bar rows are so hard. I had my boy, who's way stronger than me, come and do. He just did curls with me as well, and he was doing like a fourth of the weight I was doing on T bar rows, which is kind of crazy. Um, my close grip rows felt really good today. I haven't used that grip ever. Um, that grip is really good. Uh, Preachers PR. That standing light curl machine is really goaded. I absolutely love that machine. So, yeah, it was actually somehow a really good day. Deads felt obviously really good. I mean, they're light, but they move really well uh, how they're supposed to under that light. Um, my bench moved a little slower than I wanted, but, like, my bench felt weird. Like, when I was setting up for bench, it just, like, didn't feel right, if that makes sense. Like, I don't... Oh, God, I don't know if that makes sense, but, like... My, like, when I was trying to walk my feet back into position, like, I would, like, push against the rack and, like, set up my arch and all that. It just, like, didn't really go well. Um, so, I don't know what was up. I think either I was sweating and I was, like, sticking to the bench more than normal, or I don't usually wear a stringer. So, like, maybe my skin just stuck to the bench a little bit too much. Or, or just the bench had chalk on it, so it was really sticky or something. I don't know. All I know is that... It felt a little weird, and it, I think also my, my friend who I had give, had given me pauses before this, um, he gave me, like, literally a six-second pause on my last warm-up, which you guys saw. So it kind of messed up how hard my top set was, but it still moves really well, so I can't really complain. Uh, probably moved to, like, an eight. I wanted to move, like, a seven, so I'll probably retake it next week or, like, hardly add any weight to it, if anything. Um... But nothing to be concerned about. The form was good and everything. I just let it sink in my chest a little bit too much, according to my coach. But I also, I feel like dog shit right now. You couldn't tell. Uh, my voice is fucked, too. I just don't feel great. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my apartment now, get some food, and then go to urgent care to see if I have, like, 
if I need an antibiotic or something because my eye is low key fucked. So uh, hopefully it's nothing, not a big deal, and I can just take an antibiotic and it'll go away, and I'll feel good, and I'll be back to 100% by next Friday for my my squats and my bench. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. I'll be in my home gym, like I said, for that video. I don't know if I'm going to film. Um, I don't know when I'm going to film again, to be honest, because I'm going to be at my home gym, and I don't have compounds until... I mean, I have compounds, but, like, they're secondaries. So I don't know if I'm going to film my primary again. We'll see. This is probably going to get uploaded, like, tomorrow. So, like, I'm spacing the videos out every, like, two days. I've been pretty good on editing, though, this weekend. I'm about to get slammed with finals and all that shit, too. <laughs> So, uh, we'll see, to be honest, I don't really know, I'm not going to commit to anything, but hopefully I'll, I'll film a little bit next week. Um, yeah, I'm going to, maybe I'll film my bench, because my bench is going to be an all-time PR, like, again, this week was a tie, next week will be an actual all-time PR, um, like a crazy all-time PR, like, I think 235, which will be a 10-pound all-time PR, and I hopefully hit it at, like, eight and a half, nine. um, which... I'm going to hope means I can hit like 250 currently. My goal is to hit 275 at the meet. That's like a crazy goal. That'd be 50 pounds in 16 weeks on my bench, but we'll see because I know my bench is actually strong at 225. I just had the shit commands and all that stuff. So sorry the energy is low. Um, kind of hurts the talk. So um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a mess today. Like my session was good, surprisingly. Considering how shit I feel now, it's kind of like the same thing as yesterday. Like during the session, I feel fine, and right after, I feel like shit, which I guess makes sense because my adrenaline dump, the caffeine, you know, the medicine wearing off, and all that shit. So I guess it sort of makes sense. It just kind of sucks for me. Um, yeah, I gotta study. I got a lot of shit to do. Um, I don't know. But hopefully, everything goes good. Never, I didn't even watch my videos yet, so I don't even know. The only thing I know how to move is my bench. I didn't watch my deads or anything yet. Uh, so I need to do that. And I forgot to film one of my T bar rows, but everything else I filmed. So I get to watch it all back when I edit it, which is cool. But uh, yeah, hopefully the energy will be higher in the next video. And hopefully I'll be back to healthy. So sorry, but I will, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.